It says this. Essentially, this means this. Show me your friends, I'll show you your future. Show me your friends, and I'll be able to tell you who you are. Because who you hang with, who you click with, you share the same fate. You know, when people try to, when people try to climb Mount Everest, you know, it costs hundreds of thousands of dollars to, to climb Mount Everest. And you know, the, the, the uh, survivor rate is something like uh, 60%. It's, it's pretty low. It's very, very, very hard and dangerous to climb Mount Everest. But do you know what they do? Not only do they get in the right gear, not only do they prepare themselves mentally, physically, not only do they do all that, they go with a team, they go with a group of people. And they, they click themselves in. Did you know that they do this? They have a rope that extends from the team leader all the way through the rest of the team. So that if one person goes down and you can't see each other because it's white out conditions, you go to take a step and you realize, oh, my friend's down. My friend's down. He's dead. Or he's stopped. Or he's hurt. And you go back and you see what happens or what has happened to that person. A lot of times, that's what we do. We tie ourselves with these other with all these other people. We tie ourselves with all these other people's opinion of us. We tie ourselves with, and, and if someone goes down, oh, they start taking you with them. They start taking you with them. But the flip side of that is when you get a strong group of people. You tie yourself in with that strong group of people. When that one person starts going down, that group stops. They go back. They begin to lift them up. They give them the oxygen. They give them the water. They begin to say, no, we're going forward. You need to be very, very careful. Who do you tie yourself with? Do you tie yourself with people that if they start going down, you start going down? Man, man, I just, you know what, man, I'm just not really into what Christianity thing. <laughs> Me either, man. You ever meet that kid that acts different when girls are around? Right? And he's not that cool, but when girls are around, like, they don't even look at you. They just uh, act like they're so tough. You, know? trying to press the you ever meet that kid that never even cracks a joke, but when there's a certain group of people, he's like the funniest guy ever, and he's trying to get all the moves and get all the attention right? Why? Because he's trying to attach himself to that situation, figure it out. Who do you tie yourself to? Do you tie yourself to someone that's going to help pull you up when you need it? Or do you tie yourself to someone that if they fall, you fall? If they fall, you fall. Are you with me? Who are you tying yourself to? Are your friends building up your faith? Or are they slowly killing you?